So you want to learn how to play Merc. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how to play him in this video. First things first, his loadout. Now, Merc's base kit is pretty good. So I wouldn't even really worry about unlocking his alternate abilities right away. Now, if you do choose to get his alternate abilities first, or you just want to 100% the game, then you're probably looking at what you got to do to get slicing wins. And this, you're probably pretty confused or you're just you're like, how are you going to do this? This is impossible, right? Well, it's not that bad. If we have to do is you have to go on prismatic trials and you have to complete it without taking damage. Now, this is all just a matter of getting the right artifacts. If you get Artifact of Glass, which lowers your health by like 90%, so you only have 10% of your health, but it like increases your damage by 500%. And if you get Artifact of Command, which lets you pick your items, right? If you get those two, you can do it super easily. Because what you do is maybe you grab one, two chests, you get some Focus Crystals, get Renault Kajaros, and then you rush to the boss. You don't even need items, if I'm being honest. You just rush to the boss, kill it as fast as possible, Go to the next stage, repeat it, and then you're done. You don't have to charge up a teleporter. It's not as bad as it seems. Tripping as a mercenary is really easy. All you have to do is go against a sloped surface and use your secondary. This will shoot you up into the air, which gives you a ton of vertical momentum. And the higher the slope, or the steeper the slope, the higher up you will go. A really good place to trim is where I'm showing you right now. It's very consistent, very easy, and very helpful. Expose is one of your passives as mercenary, and all you have to do to activate it is hit an enemy three times with your main attack. Now, how to do the glitch is you just have to swipe in the air, so you use your attack three times, you don't even have to hit anything, and then you dash right after using your secondary. This will merge the two hitboxes, and you will basically be able to proc expose on a bunch of enemies all at once. All you gotta do to perform the momentum glitch is use your utility skill on an enemy without sprinting, right? So you don't wanna be sprinting and you just dash into an enemy and either utility skill works for this and it'll shoot the enemy backwards. This itself won't do any damage, but if you do it against a wall, it'll do massive damage or kill it. The timing is a little weird, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it every time. In my personal opinion, the single best item as mercenary is Focus Crystals. What this does is if you're near an enemy, it'll increase your damage by 25%. Well, as mercenary, you're always close to the enemy. So this is basically a 25% increase to your damage directly. This is an amazing item, and it is probably the best item as mercenary. A few other good ones are Rinald's bands, Kijaro's bands, and just generally good items that work on everybody else. Now while this item is good for all survivors, if you're going first loop, get Transcendence. Transcendence is so good, so helpful, especially when I was starting out and learning the game because you don't need to worry about getting healing items. You can pretty much scrap all your healing items and just get a bunch of damaging items. Getting good with Mercenary is knowing how and when to engage. And this is going to depend on which boss you're fighting and what your specific scenario is. Now, for example, with a Wandering Vagrant, you're going to want to stay on top of the Wandering Vagrant and you're going to want to circle around it. You can try to do the momentum glitch on a Wandering Vagrant and it does work, but I found that it's really inconsistent and pretty hard to do for some reason, so I usually don't bother. And when it goes to do its big flashing lightning attack at low health, you're going to want to time your eviscerate so that when it does its big attack, you are invincible. For a Beetle Queen, you're pretty much going to want to try to stay inside of the Beetle Queen. If you go outside, then it can do its kind of shotgun attack and hit you, and you it'll take a bunch of your health if you're on Monsoon. So pretty much just stay inside of it, and you're not going to get hit. And if a bunch of enemies get under you, you can get out, dash through them, and then kind of come back. For a Stone Titan, you're going to want to stand basically behind the Stone Titan, and just deal a bunch of damage. Just hit it from behind until it dies. Because if you're really close to it, it's not gonna hit you with its laser attack. Now, what if you ask me, is there a way to remove all the skill from this game and just turn it completely brain dead and you just press one button and you beat the game? Well, the answer is yes. It's basically, you just get a bunch of purities, which is a lunar item that lowers your cooldowns and basically makes you like more unlucky. It makes it more likely that negative effects will happen to you. But if you get enough of these, or you have no cooldowns, and your eviscerate skill while you use it, it makes you invincible, 
if you can put two and two together you are completely invincible and you do a bunch of damage welcome to brain dead mercenary Thank you.